So we'll take a look at approximations in case of divisions. And a simple example for that, I've written a couple of random numbers here, which are each, each of which is 15 digits long, so fairly big numbers. And if I want to approximate the answer, it should be very close to 0.66. Now before I tell you how I got to the answer, and I've done it right now, I would want you to pause the video, actually use your calculator to calculate this expression, then after this expression, this expression, and this expression, and then move on and watch the rest of the video. Now if you've done that, you would find that this expression is also close to 0.66, so is this one, and so is this one. Now what is happening here is effectively in this case, I have simply removed the last nine digits of this number and the last nine digits of this number. When I move here, I have removed two more digits from the numerator and the denominator. In this case, I have removed another digit each from the numerator and the de denominator. In fact, how I actually did it and got to the answer was simply see it as 45 by 68, which I saw as something is very close to 46 by 69, which is nothing but 23 into 2 divided by 23 into 3, which is 2 by 3, and hence 0.66. So what we are essentially saying is this entire expression of 15 digits in the numerator and 15 digits in the denominator could be simply looked at two digits in each, and that would get you extremely, extremely close to your answer. And you may have some error probably in the third, fourth, fifth place after the decimal. Now, this somewhere has to do with the weightage that each of these numbers carry. Because when you look at the expression such as 456, 1688, this is nothing but 400 plus 50 plus 6 divided by 600 plus 80 plus 8. And the impact of 4 here, which provides 400, is 10 times the impact of 5, is 10 times the impact of 6. So the more we move towards the right, the less the contribution of those numbers. So the most significant numbers in division lie to the leftmost side in the numerator and the denominator. And if we can simply start building upon it, as we'll see in some of the future videos, we'll get to any division expression extremely quickly and very, very accurately.